Today, I want to have a little discussion about the most expensive watch that I've ever featured on this channel, and that is the Garmin Tactic 7 Pro Solar that I have here. This thing is an absolute beast, but it's probably overkill for most of you. Hear me out. Welcome back, I'm Dave from Chase the Summit, and in this video, we're gonna have a little discussion about why I think the Garmin Tactic 7 is an absolute beast of a watch that does just about everything and represents basically the most technology you can cram into a wearable on your wrist, and why it's probably overkill for the vast majority of users out there, unless you fall into a very small minority in the military, law enforcement, hunting kind of bucket. So something I've noticed on my channel is every time I bring up something like a Garmin Phoenix or a Forerunner 945 or something like that, in the comments, a lot of people tend to ask, you know, when's the next Tactics coming out? When's that Tactics Delta or Echo or whatever coming out? And I always found that kind of interesting because it's such a niche, like small user group watch that falls into this category, but a lot of people actually ask about it. I'm surprised by the amount of comments I've actually seen about this watch. And I think that interest is warranted because this thing is really cool, but it's also super expensive. Before we dive into the nitty gritty of this video, if you find this video helpful or fun or passes the time or anything, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel down below because that really helps me out. And if you're interested in a Tactic 7, check out the links down below because those also help support the channel and they cost nothing extra to you, so use them, thanks. So what is the Tactic 7 line of watches? Well, it is a very specialized watch that's made for military, law enforcement, hunters, uh, and some other use cases like pilots, people in aviation, and uh, yeah, if you're just kind of lumped into that user group, this might be the watch for you. On top of all that though, the Tactic 7 is basically a Garmin Phoenix 7X, just in a slightly different case with a few more features. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about is the three different versions of the Tactic 7 that are currently available. There is the standard model that comes in at $1,099 USD, so about $1,100. There's the Tactic 7 Pro Solar, which is the one I have here. This one comes in at $1,299 or $1,300. And then there's the Tactics Pro Ballistics model. That's $1,599. Whoa, that is a very expensive watch. Now, in terms of pricing, if we take a look at the Garmin Phoenix 7X I have here, which bears a striking resemblance because again, they're basically the same watch. When you are looking at the pricing of the Garmin Phoenix 7X, the base model, it comes in at $899 and that's the 7X Solar. And then there's the 7X Solar Sapphire that comes in at $999 or about a thousand dollars. Now, one interesting thing when comparing these two watches, even though they're nearly identical, uh, a lot of people actually wanted the Garmin Phoenix 7X without the solar function. And that's just not available, which is kind of interesting. So if you're buying a Garmin Phoenix 7X, you have to get the solar option. Your only choice is to get the solar or the solar sapphire, which has a sapphire lens that's much more scratch resistant. But there's no non-solar option. And the reason why a lot of people request that is because if you look closely uh, at the Phoenix 7X, you'll notice there's a like kind of a red ring around the perimeter of the watch. And that's because that's the uh, solar diode or, or fo photovoltaic, photovoltaic cell. I nailed it. That cell is actually what captures the most sunlight. Even though the whole lens is actually a solar panel, that perimeter is actually where it's 100% photovoltaic cell. And I think for some, a lot of people saw this ring as kind of an eyesore, where it's otherwise a really good looking watch, except for that kind of weird looking ring around the perimeter. And if you have the standard Sapphire model, like on the Phoenix 6, the last generation, there's no ring around there. It's just kind of a black bezel around the perimeter. And the reason why I'm talking about this ring at all is because if you go with the Garmin Tactic 7 and you end up going for the base model that comes in at $1,099, you can actually get it without solar with Sapphire. So it's actually currently the only Phoenix 7X type watch they can get without solar, but still having Sapphire, which is kind of strange. But again, you're gonna be paying a premium for that non-solar Tactic 7 compared to a Phoenix 7X because it's still more expensive. It just doesn't have that solar feature. So kind of weird. I hope you're keeping up with me. This gets very confusing. So what do you get for all that extra money? That's what we're gonna talk about now. So first things first, I wanna open up the box and just show you what comes inside. It's not that exciting, but there are a few bells and whistles here. Just gonna open the top here, and obviously I already have the watch out, but there is a little perk to getting the Tactic 7. It's the fact that it does come 
with two different bands inside the box. And of course you get your charging cable and all that stuff. I'm not even gonna cover in this video. Inside the box, you will have two bands. Of course you get your standard uh, silicone band, just like on the Garmin Phoenix 7X. However, one interesting feature about this band is that it's actually last generation's model. So the Garmin Phoenix 6X had this band. It was the exact same band but now they're shipping that with the Tactic 7. On top of that silicon band, you also get this really cool nylon band that comes already on the watch in the box. And it's like really tough feeling nylon. This is not stretchy at all. It's a very static kind of, uh, I don't know, like rope feeling nylon and it's very thick. It feels very durable. And there is one negative aspect to that when it comes to heart rate performance, which we'll talk about in a little bit. So yeah, cool. You get an extra band in the box and fun fact, this band is available separately on Garmin's own website, but it is super expensive. This band alone, I believe is about $139. So the band of the Tactic 7 can cost just as much as like a Fitbit. So wrap your head around that. Now let's talk about the design and build quality on the Tactic 7 and how it compares to the Garmin Phoenix 7X. So as you can see, these two watches bear a striking resemblance. They're nearly identical, but the Tactic 7 is a little bit different. First of all, the bezel of the Tactic 7 is slightly different. It's actually flat. It's got no ridges to it or anything. Uh, the whole surface is like a machined flat finish, and it's got little markers around the perimeter of the watch as well. Uh, if you go to the kind of profile, you can see that there's no like contour or bevel to the bezel at all. It's really just flat and then it's got kind of a step that goes down to the next level of the watch. And if you compare the Tactic 7 to the Phoenix 7X, you can see that the Phoenix 7X kind of has a more contoured bezel. It's got sort of an angle bevel to it where the Tactic 7 is totally flat. Flipping the Tactic 7 to the side here, another detail is that the Tactic 7 does have knurled buttons. So there's kind of like a little grippy texture to the button. Whereas if we look at the Phoenix 7X here, it's a smooth button, even though there is a uh, Garmin logo on this one, the other buttons are just totally smooth. They are metal, so they still feel pretty premium, but there's no uh, texture to them at all. Other than the minor design changes to the Tactic 7, everything else about it is exactly the same as the Phoenix 7X. They're both 51 millimeters in diameter, they're both about 14 and a half or 15 millimeters thick, and they both come in at 89 grams, even though both are made out of titanium. So they're basically the same in all form factor dimensions. One more detail about the Garmin Tactic 7 compared to the Phoenix 7X is that the built in flashlight has a different mode. On the Phoenix 7X, you've got a white LED and a red LED, and on the Tactic 7, you get a white LED and a green LED, and apparently this is good for night vision to retain some of your natural night vision. I don't really know. Of course, beauty's in the eye of the beholder when it comes to buying one of these things, but I think personally, I do prefer the look of the Tactic 7 a little bit more than the Garmin Phoenix 7X, just because it's kind of a cleaner, minimalistic appearance with that flat top, and it kind of catches the eye in a weird way with that black DLC coating. And so far, the DLC coating has proven to be really durable, so that's nice. Okay, now that we covered the hardware, let's talk about some other things that these two watches have in common. In terms of GPS accuracy and modes, both are multi-band enabled, which means they have dual frequency or multi-frequency modes. That means they can actually connect to more satellites at a given time to give you a better GPS fix when you're out on your run, ride, or in the case of the Tactic 7, out in the field in your military operation. In terms of battery life, again, the same. Both of them have the same great battery life of like up to a month in standby or smartwatch mode and up to like 122 hours if you go off in a GPS activity. When it comes to smartwatch features on both of these models, again, exactly the same. They both have offline music playback so you can sync your Spotify playlists or whatever to the watch itself play the back the music to earbuds and leave your phone at home when you go off on your activity, which is great. Both do have phone notifications built in, calendar support, and you can actually respond to text messages if you're using an Android device. Unfortunately, not available on iPhone, and that's not their fault, that's Apple's fault. And both the Tactic 7 and Garmin Phoenix 7X have the same user interface where you scroll through the little widgets here, which they call glances. You've got things like your weather here, you've got your solar intensity to see how much sun you're gathering, you've got your sunset, uh, your compass, you've got your training load, your VO2 max estimation, training status and recovery information. There's a ton of information here and you can add and remove these and reorder them however you want. You can also download additional widgets and data fields from the Connect IQ store, which is kind of like Garmin's Apple store where you can download more apps and widgets and things like that and install third party things on these watches as well. They're basically the same watch. I think I'm gonna stop there. They're, they're the same watch. 
So what's so different about the Tactic 7 and why does it cost more money? Let's talk about those features now. First of all, the Tactic 7 has a night vision mode. You heard me right. If you're somebody who uses night vision often, you may want the Tactic 7. And there it is, there's night vision mode. So what does night vision mode do? It basically turns down the backlight of the watch to a very low level, to the point where it's almost imperceivable to the human eye. It's very dark. Why does it do this? Because night vision goggles boost brightness, right? So if you've got a very bright watch on your wrist and you go to look at it with night vision goggles on, it'll bloom and blow out the, the lights inside your night vision goggles and probably blind you a little bit. The next feature that you get on the Tactic 7 that's not available on the Phoenix 7X is stealth mode, which you're seeing here. If you turn on stealth mode, this says it disables all wireless communication and hides GPS data. So it's pretty interesting. It actually turns off all the comms on the watch, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, even the Amp Plus and whatever, everything is turned off. There's no outbound radio signals from the watch at all. It also doesn't store your GPS data. So you can actually still use the GPS activities to see where you are, so you can still see your position, but it won't store the data in the watch. The next feature on the Tactic 7 that's not available on the 7X is called Kill Switch, which sounds very intimidating and for good reason, because this is something that you don't want to accidentally press. The kill switch, if I click on it here, you can see it says press and hold to trigger kill switch. So if I push these two buttons, which I'm not going to do, it'll completely wipe out all the data of the watch. Why would you want this? Again, if you're in hostile territory or whatever, you're out in the field doing your thing, uh, or you're, you've just had a late night out and you don't want your loved one knowing you're, where you came from, I don't know, no judgment, all right? If you hold down these two buttons at the same time, it'll just erase everything on the watch and factory reset it. So that's what kill switch is. The next couple of features on the Tactic 7 are specifically related to aviation. This is for pilots, for people who are in the Air Force or just commercial pilots who wanna have a really cool watch. You can see here, there's a widget for pilot information here. And if I click in on this, you can see, uh, I don't know what any of this stuff means, okay? So this is essentially the closest airport to me right now. And apparently this other information helps pilots get to that airport. I honestly don't know. So it says up at the, the top here, METAR, KOJC, VFR, age, uh, ISS. This is all gibberish to me. I don't actually know what this does, but I'm sure a pilot would. The next feature that's again for pilots only is the fly activity. So you can see here, I've got my activity menu here, virtual run, hike, walk, and right there we've got fly, which is not on the Phoenix 7X. So if I click in on that, you can see I've got some data fields that are specifically designed for flight. You've got more information, you've got a compass, and if I keep going, we'll get to the map page here. And what's really interesting about the map page in the fly activity is as you can see, instead of a little arrow icon, there's actually an airplane icon, which is kind of cool. So the fly activity will obviously collect your GPS data of your flight path, but it'll also collect your biometric data of your optical heart rate, along with your SpO2 level or blood oxygen saturation. And all of that information is probably pretty valuable to pilots out there. So pretty cool feature. The Garmin Tactic 7 can also give you direct navigation to airports when you're actually in flight, which is pretty interesting because I feel like, I'm not a pilot, but I feel like there are instruments in a plane to do that for you. But I guess if you have that on your wrist, that's also a nice fallback if anything were to go wrong. And the final feature on the Tactic 7 that's not available on the 7X is going to be applied ballistics. This is basically a calculator for long range rifle shooting. So that could be for a hunter, for people in the armed forces or in the military, anything like that. Personally, I don't know what any of it means. I have never shot a rifle in my life. Although it might be interesting to try at a range or something, but uh, yeah, it's not for me, but there are people out there that would really value having that information on their wrist to be able to triangulate how they shoot their rifle. I think that's what it does. And that's really it when it comes to boiling down what's different about the Tactic 7 compared to the Garmin Phoenix 7X. It's really that handful of features that are really in a very small niche, a very small percentage of people actually use. But those people, if you're out there, know it and they they want these things. So it, it makes sense why this watch actually exists. Now I'm not really gonna cover accuracy in this video because in terms of GPS accuracy and heart rate accuracy, it is exactly the same as the Phoenix 7X. Nothing has changed here. We've got the same GPS chip, the same multi-band GPS system. We've got the same antenna design. Everything's the same, so it's not really worth going down a rabbit hole on which one's better. However, I do wanna talk about one thing that's different on the Tactic 7 when it comes to heart rate accuracy, and that's gonna be the band. In my testing so far, I have noticed that using this nylon band has resulted in worse heart rate accuracy, and that's because it's 
It's not a very stretchy band. So when you've got it strapped down on your wrist, if you can't get an exact fit that's really nice and tight without being too tight or too loose, uh, you've got issues with heart rate accuracy because it will bounce around a little bit and it can actually let some light in underneath the watch, which, which can result in some issues in terms of heart rate performance. All right, we're nearing the end of this video and now I just wanna have a quick discussion about the Tactic 7 and who should buy this watch. I think if you need this watch, you probably already know it. If you're out there and you're a pilot or a hunter, somebody in law enforcement, in the military, somebody like that, and you saw this watch launch and you're like, oh man, that has applied ballistics, I need that thing. You already know that you need the Garmin Tactic 7. For everybody else out there, the 99.9% .9 of people out there, I think you'd be better suited with the Garmin Phoenix 7X. On the other hand, I don't want those people out there to feel bad who actually bought a Tactic 7 who don't wanna use all the options. If you've got the money in your pocket and you just absolutely love the look of the Tactic 7 and you wanna stand out from all the other Garmin's out there, if you wanna show up on race day and have a Tactic 7 on your wrist and look over at all the Phoenix 7's and 6's out there and you're the only guy there or girl with a Tactic 7 on your wrist and it just looks so unique, by all means, go out and buy this thing because it is an absolute beast of a watch. There is no shame in spending money if you've got it. And if you really like this thing, it's totally worth getting to put on your wrist. And now I wanna hear from you. Are you gonna buy a Tactic 7 or are you just gonna go with the Phoenix 7X? And if you're going with a Tactic 7, you need to comment down below and let me know why you went for the Tactic 7. What features drove you this way? Was it just the, the looks of it? Or was it the appeal of how this thing actually physically looks? Or was it the features that are actually in the watch? Are you somebody who uses applied ballistics? Let me know in the comments down below. I really would love to hear from you. And now we've reached the end of this video and you've probably liked it if you're still watching. So if you're still watching, you should probably go down and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because that helps me out and I'll keep making more of these videos. And another thing that helps me out is if you're interested in buying a Tactic 7 or Phoenix 7X and you're gonna buy one anyways, you might as well use my links down description down below because those also do help support my channel and it costs nothing extra to you. And with that, this video's over and I've gotta go for my run now. I've been putting it off all day and I'm trying to decide which watch I take. It's probably gonna be the Tactic 7 because man, it just looks so cool. Okay friends, this one's been fun. I hope you liked it. I gotta go now, bye.